Hello and welcome back to the Sonnet Moth Trap YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about pheromone trapping or basically pairing wild male nocturnal moths with females. There's many ways of doing this but my favourite way by far is making what I call a pheromone trap. Basically this is a laundry basket just on the medium size I guess and then I into the sides of it I hot glued flower pots so that's six inches so 15 centimeters and then the inside is a bit smaller so I'm gonna say about 10 centimeters I don't even know how many inches that will be like three inches I guess inside you place your virgin female hawk moths in this case it's an eyed hawk moth flew away which just dropped on the ground all right they don't really fly as a defense I have, a, I have a zip installed on this as well, so I can for easy access. And I have two flower pots, one on this side and one on this side. When you're setting this up, it, you need to have a clear flight space on both sides. This will of course also work for larger moths, up to the size of atlas moths. It will work for any species really. The, I think the general sort of rule is that this has to be about twice the width of the wingspan of a moth. Well, yeah, it helps if it's about... It has to be a little bit wider than the wingspan of a moth, so for a lunar moth, You'd need a bit bigger than that. Now, another way of doing it. Simply, a 30 by 30 moth breeding cage. Again, the same size flower pot. And there you go, that was from last night. As you can see, that's a wild hawk moth male that came in and paired with that female eyed hawk moth. Let's get it our one us all tied in. But that is it. Very simple way of achieving pairing. Yep. Their pair of wild, the male is wild. Female is captive bred, there she is. On the header, very big female. Lovely wild male. So as I said, this would work for, really I think most species, anything that would be, as long as you get the flower pot size right, and whatnot. This is a, I also have a buff female poplar hawkmoth in here, and for some reason I can't get a poplar hawkmoth male for her. So whether or not male poplar hawkmoths enter pheromone traps or not, I don't know, I'm not going to let her fly off. She's quite precious to me. So, yeah, that's it. I think that's everything covered. Also, this will work, of course, for day-flying moths, which is emperor moths, and other things like that. But yeah, that's it. Bye-bye, and best luck from the Sun and Moth Trapper. I hope this video helped.